Hi kindergartners, today we are gonna talk about bridges for our STEM challenge. One of my most favorite bridges is one that I found when I was in Wyoming. Take a look at this picture. This is a wildlife bridge. It helps animals cross the highway without getting hit. Thousands of animals use it every year. This helps them stay safe and we stay safe too because we don't hit them with our cars. How are bridges built in real life? Well, I found a video of a bridge being constructed and it took one and a half years and they sped up the video for it to be only one minute long. Look at all this hard work. Did you know that even animals use bridges? A friend of mine put in a trail cam next to a log that he has over his creek. Take a look at the animals that use bridges in his neighborhood. So your STEM challenge today is to design and construct a bridge. So most bridges have some sort of bottom support that goes horizontally across whatever it's going across that they need the bridge for. So your bridge is going to need some sort of beam that goes across. Don't forget to reinforce your beam. When you reinforce something, you make it stronger. Now, your turn. You need to design a bridge that will span the width of a river. So span means to go from one side to the other side. And the width of a bridge is how wide a space is. So you have to create a river and you have to create a bridge. Here are your instructions. For the Build a Bridge Challenge, you are to design and create a bridge that spans the width of a river. The materials you can use are for the river. You can make it out of paper. You can draw it with chalk. You can use a bowl of water. Whatever idea you can come up with for a river. For the bridge making materials, you can use Legos, blocks, toys, popsicle sticks, any other ideas you can think of. When you've designed one bridge, and if it works, great. Design a second bridge, maybe use different materials. Maybe the river that you used, you could do a wider river and see if you can do a bridge over a wider river. Here's a few other examples of bridges. So for my materials, I use chalk to draw a river, and then I am gonna use Legos to build the bridge. Let's see how it turns out. All right, kindergartners, here's my bridge. 
it spans the width of the river, which means it goes from one side to the other side. Let's see if I can get this little guy in the boat through it. Does it go underneath? It does, yay! All right, I've completed the challenge. I can either choose to play with my bridge or I can make my river wider and see if I can get a different kind of bridge or let's put some weight on this bridge and see how strong it actually is. All right, kindergartners, now let's see if the bridge can hold things. Let's first try the Lego bin. It stays up. Now let's try something bigger. Will my bridge hold up this plant? Yay! Now let's try something bigger. Now I can go back and make some modifications. Remember, modifications is a fancy word for some changes. Oh man. Here are a couple other ideas. Using popsicle sticks, cardboard, clothes pins, paper, Legos. Use whatever you have at home. And here is one last bridge that a few friends of mine made in our outdoor classroom a couple years ago. Your teachers are looking forward to seeing your amazing bridges on Seesaw. Don't forget when you upload a photo or a video to explain to us how you came up with the idea for your bridges. We love hearing your awesome ideas. Have fun and get building.